and the Federal Drug Administration in the United States can't do a thing about it for a strange reason. Because homeopathy existed before the National Food and Drug Administration in the United States was established. So it's what we call grandfathered. In other words, it came along before the regulations. So they can say anything they want about it and they can sell it any place without any proof whatsoever. They're protected under the law. A ridiculous law, but there it is. Now, I'm about to show you a bit of video. This is a program that I did some years ago with my good friend, the late Johnny Carson. That Carson show happened late at night, was perhaps the most popular television show in the history of the United States of America. It was watched, he did it for something like 30 years. It was an incredible show, very, very popular. And um, I did some research on a fellow named Peter Popoff. Peter Popoff was a gentleman who <laughs> on stage would be running around screaming and waving a Bible constantly, of course, and uh, he would go down into the audience and he would pick somebody out in the audience and that person in the audience that he picked out, he'd ask them to stand up and then he'd be able to call out their name and the disease that they thought they had and then he would tell them how he would direct his prayers in return for a donation, of course, direct the prayers of Almighty God to cure them from that disease and they would feel so much better. They wouldn't recover from the disease but they'd feel so much better just by giving out the money. Well we found out what his gimmick was and I went to Johnny Carson's producer and I said Fred, that was Fred DeCordova, his producer, and I said Fred I want to show you this videotape. I showed them the videotape and Fred said, oh my, said, this is very strong. John will want to put it on the show, I'm sure, tonight. He said, I'll tell him. I said, no, no, Fred, don't tell him. And he said, oh, I have to tell him because John doesn't like surprises. And then I said to him, think of the expression on his face. <laughs> Fred thought for a minute, he said, okay, but it's on your head. I'm going to blame you for it if he's angry about it. Well, we did it that night on the show, and you're going to see the unedited video, un, well partially unedited videotape, I'll tell you afterwards where it was edited, but this is the videotape as it was shown on the television sets all over the United States of America that very same night, and we'll see that video now. Now you've got a small piece of tape here we're going to look at. Would you tell us what we're going to see here and how you did this and what, yeah. it's, what it's supposed to show? Well, we researched Peter Popoff very, very well. And Mr. Popoff, pardon me, Reverend Popoff, is not going to be very happy with this, I don't think. You're going to see, first of all, a short segment of tape, as you would see it if you're watching it at home. This is what Popoff featured on his own program. You will apparently see a healing. Now, we went to Houston, Texas, and we discovered that the man was wearing, of all things, a hearing aid in his left ear, and a man who heals the deaf, pop off himself. Oh, I see. And a man who heals the deaf and the blind isn't going to have much use for a hearing aid. One would think, if God is speaking to him, maybe someone else is speaking to him. <laughs> so uh, when we got to San Francisco, we put uh, this fellow, Alec Jason, as an, ex uh, an expert in electronics and a surveillance man, and he put a scanner, an electronic scanner on it, and we picked up something interesting. But first, let's look at the first cut of tape. All right, this is the tape, as you would see it if you were watching the show. Okay, watch the monitors. Who is Harold? Great voice. <laughs> I just believe that God is going to burn those cataracts off of your eyes right now. Three, four, seven, eight, eight, Foothill Drive. I tell you, the angels of God are round about your home. Just take those glasses off and put your eyes. If you've got cataracts, if you've got glaucoma, I want you just to put your hand over your eyes as I pray for these precious ones. Sister, you've got eye problems to take your glasses off. Lay your hands on your eyes. Here it comes. To God is going to give these precious ones divine surgery. Right now, right now, Jesus. <laughs> Praise God! Praise God! I tell you, the anointing is flowing through this place! Thank you, Jesus! Okay, now let's recap what we've seen here. These two people who were there had not met 
pop up That's before right. themselves. Never spoken. And yet he calls out his name, and then he called out a number or something? He called out their address. Their address. And they're it? astonished to hear this, because Thank they you. didn't tell him. But what you don't know is that his wife has been touring around the audience, getting into conversation. Is Jesus going to heal you today? I see. Where do you live? This kind of thing. And they filled out healing cards in advance of the program and handed them in there. Now backstage, and someone is sitting at a transmitter backstage. Let's see that same segment again. But now you will have the advantage of knowing what Peter Popoff is hearing in his left ear through a hearing aid. Jerry Reed. Is it Jerry? Reed. 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 Is it Jerry Reed? It's a woman. She's praying for her husband, Harold. Who is Harold? He's got cataracts. I just believe that God is going to burn those cataracts off of your eyes right now. They live at 34788 Foothill Drive. 34788 Foothill Drive? I tell you, the angels have got around about your home. Just take those glasses off and put your eyes if you've got cataracts. She's got, she's got eye if problems. you've got glaucoma, I want you just to put your hand over your eyes as I pray for these precious ones. Sister, you've got eye problems to take your glasses off, lay your hands on your eyes. Here it comes to God is going to give these precious ones divine surgery. Right now, right now, Jesus! <laughs> Well, that is, um, that's disturbing when you see it. It is. You tend to laugh at it, uh, and yet these people obviously are so impressed with what's going on. Oh, they're absolutely impressed. You see people collapse on the floor, tears running down their faces, believing that uh, their kids with drug addiction are going to be healed now because he knew their name. He says he's talking to God, that God speaks directly to him because he's an anointed minister. And one, three things amaze me about that. First of all, it turns out that God's frequency, I didn't know he used radio, is 39.170 megahertz. And God is a woman, obviously, and sounds exactly like Popoff's wife, Elizabeth. Has he seen this thing, sir? No, he does not know about this until this very moment. Interesting. Okay. <laughs> Now, the result of that videotape uh, was uh, absolute disaster uh, for Peter Popoff. He almost promptly went out of business, and uh, he changed the name of his ministry from Peter Popoff Ministries to People United for Christ. <laughs> Stayed in the same headquarters, he just changed the sign. And he was back in business. Now, he is still back in business, ladies and gentlemen. I used to get calls from Johnny Carson there, and he'd say, Randy, I saw Popoff on television again. I thought we put him out of business. I said, John, this is an unsinkable rubber duck. There's nothing you're going to be able to do about this. People just will not listen and they will not learn from what we try to teach them. And that's the way it is, unfortunately. It's very sad, but it's very true. Peter Popoff, in 2009, according to his accountant, brought in one million dollars more than the year in which we exposed them on the Johnny Carson show. Incredible, but true. There is no way you're going to stop these people. And there are no federal laws in the United States of America to stop them. Now we have the million dollar prize. Surprisingly enough, Peter Popoff has not come to us for the million dollars. <laughs> I have no idea why. We've offered it for 11 years now. And our website, Swift, named after Jonathan Swift, the famous English satirist and skeptic, gets 9,000 hits a day on an average internationally. So this is well known. Peter Popoff knows that the offer is out there. All of the rest of the psychics do too. But we don't get the application. You'd think there would be a crowd as big as this waiting outside the entrance right here, waiting to try to collect the million dollars. Where are they? That's my question. Well, I think I know why they're not coming in for the prize. Now take, for example, a woman named Sylvia Brown in the United States of America. She appeared on the Larry King Show, which is internationally seen all over the world. And she said that she would take the million dollar prize when she was questioned by Larry King. She said she would do that. Oh, really? Well, if that's true, I'm waiting for her call. Eleven years ago, and she still hasn't found me. Wait a minute, she said she couldn't find me. <laughs> there are 105 million references to me on Google alone. 